So, Star Wars fan edit. We finally saw it. I do want to talk about this for a minute. So, I'm going to be real. I'm probably not going to talk about this for too much. Uh, I just want to, like, get this somewhere so I can just, like, shove up on the channel and just have the complete thing. But, yeah... (laughs) We finally watched the HAL 9000 fan edit of Star Wars Episode One that makes it about our movie. And you know what? Turns out it did in fact make it about our movie. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Not a great movie, but, you know, good enough. It works. <clears throat> so here's the thing. Like, film starts out like... I thought a bunch of, like, the special edition effects were, like, fan CG. Turns out, no, the special edition CG is just really bad. Mm. So what this specifically does is this edit cuts out, like, loads of fluff and filler and just various other bullshit (laughs) to speed the movie up, basically. And, like, readjust specific things so they, like, line up a bar and stuff like that. And, yeah, that's that's basically what this is. So it's like, yeah, movie starts off, they go on, like, the ship, you know, they're <coughs> going to the negotiations or whatever. Like, immediately it cuts a lot of the preamble, so it's just straight up, like, you know, the freaking trade federation guys are like oh jedi uh quick kill them we like they're on to us or whatever so it's like okay whatever like i feel like this is the big thing is that it's like it's surprising how much more of this movie works when stuff is moving so fast that you don't have time to stop and like think about it <laughs> <clears throat> So it's like, okay, yeah, they immediately just go after the Jedi and stuff, having a bit of, like, a wait there. It's like, immediately they just gas them and then just open the door, like, just instantly. And it's like, okay, fix number one. Uh, screw the whole poison gas thing. Now it's just like, oh, okay, I guess they're just, like, using gas to obscure their vision and then they're creating, like, you know a way for the droids to, like, get a line of sight on them, basically. It's like, okay, fair, that makes way more sense. Sure. Sure, like, which means they cut the whole line of, like, oh, open the door to make sure they're dead or more of the crap. That was just really stupid. But yeah, that happens. They, like, get through that fight really effing fast. Like, they just blast through that. Yeah, because they're Jedi. Yeah, and then it's like, okay, they go to Naboo, or, no, yeah, they go to Naboo, yeah. It's like, pretty much immediately, they, like, touch down and just save Jar Jar. And he's like, oh, yeah, I owe you, like, a life debt or whatever the crap. And then they completely cut out the meeting with the Gungans. (laughs) Nice. So straight up, that if nothing else, that's like the best thing they do in the entire edit. <laughs> they just cut that out. They don't negotiate with the Gungans. They don't like go through the plant core. They don't do any of that crap. They just meet up with Jar Jar. He's like, oh yeah, I owe you one. I'll stick with you guys. And they just go straight to the queen. Because <laughs> like, of course, right? <laughs> Yeah, because nobody cares about any of the stuff that happens between Jar Jar and his people. Yeah, it also solves the whole thing of, like, <laughs> oh, why don't they just, like, wait with the Gungans until they had to, like, you know, come back and, like, get an army or whatever. Because it's, like, in this version, they don't even make contact. They're just, like, oh, yeah, yo, Jar Jar's people. Okay, sure. And they just don't even, like, look at them. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like, this creates a thing where it's like, later on, you know, like, they have this whole thing to get, you know, like, the queen to the sit so she can request troops or whatever. And it's like, okay, they do the whole thing of like, oh, we need to like, you know, just get reinforcements, there's like a war going on stuff. Uh, Goes a lot faster, because of course, they cut a bunch of like, the sit stuff. So it's like, they elect Palpatine, and she's like... 
just stops and talks with Jar Jar for a second. And he's like, oh, yo, we Gungans have an army. And she's like, yo, what? That's good enough. We're going back. You know, because she, like, sees the bureaucracy. She sees the situation. And she's like, okay, this is going to take way too long. We need to try diplomacy with, like, our, you know, near allies first. And then they just go back and do all the Gungan stuff all at once. Yeah, they just go back, go to the Gungans, and they're immediately like, you know what? Yeah, we'll help you, sure. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the issues with the prequels is George trying to tell seven season length TV series within ten hours of airtime. Yeah, pretty much. Like... Cut out a lot of this really dumb, just, like, unnecessary world-building fluff that just doesn't matter, and it really does help the story a lot. <laughs> well, of course, they have the whole thing with Anakin. They keep the weird lines of him, like, flirting with Padme and stuff, but, like, I feel like they edited in more of, like, a reaction from her, so it's not as creepy feeling. <laughs> Like, it's not as weird somehow. I don't know, maybe it's just because things are, like, going so quickly at this point that, like, I didn't have time to stop and, like, yo, know, like, dwell on how weird and just bad everything is. <laughs> it's like, yo, know what? At the end of the day, if jangling keys in front of the audience keeps them from noticing the flaws, that's a good thing. I, I feel like that's good. <laughs> yeah. You do what you gotta do. So it's like, okay, yeah, we get to the pod race pretty much, like, immediately. Like, they decide that decision very quickly. I don't think they're gonna, like, take a blood sample from Anakin or anything. They just have a few lines where they're like, oh, yeah, you know, the Force seems, like, strong with him or whatever. And they just don't explain midichlorians because it's super redundant and pointless. Yeah. Space magic, who cares? Yeah, who cares? Like, point is, you know, they look at him and they're like, you know what, he didn't, like, read the track, he has good reflexes, that's a Jedi thing. So it's supposed because all stuff is cab card of the Star Wars image shows, and those are good, so yeah. It's no longer necessary to the con itself. Also, better character on Ice too. Yeah. Oh, yo, what's going on? Yeah, we're just talking about, like, the HAL 9000 Star Wars fan out real quick before we move into Digimon. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, they get into the pod race. They, I swear they caught, like, two or three different, like, setbacks that Anakin goes through. So they can just focus super heavily on the moment where his pods just depower and go out of sync, right? Because mm -hmm. it's like, that's the one big one that matters. Because it's like, oh, the pod's spinning out of control and him having to reattach them and all that stuff. Like, who cares? Yeah. You get your Just big Just keep on with the yeah. race. Yeah, you get your big action one and you keep the race from dragging on too long. And it's like, I should mention continuity of the race is a little fucked because of that. It's fine. <laughs> Like, there are some shots where you see people on the track that should really not be on the track, but you know what? Screw it. It's fine. I'm I'm fine with it. <laughs> Darth Jar Jar fan theory that should have been. It really should have. Like, holy crap, Jar Jar looks creepy when you notice how weird his eyes are. <laughs> <laughs> like, there are scenes where he just peeks his head around like a corner, and he's just got these, like, just weirdly detailed yellow like frog eyes and you're like Egh. is it weird for me to think that like 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 not only should jar jar have been like a secret sith lord like it also would have subverted the thing where it's like okay this palpatine guy looks super evil but then it yeah. was actually jar jar who's evil the whole time oh that would have been fantastic if it was like oh the villain isn't just palpatine there's like more to it well, I was gonna. No, well, I I guess the other movies have, had happened at this point, so yeah, uh, Palpatine's really, already established yeah. as a villain. But if he hadn't been, that could have been like, no, he just looks evil. The real villain yeah. is this frog alien thing. Yeah, well, if it's like Palpatine's not evil, and like because of their actions, Darth Jar Jar is drawn to like desperation. A like he turns Palpatine to the dark side, and that's how it goes down. <laughs> 
Yeah, he makes him. He, he makes him turn to the yeah. evil, to the dark side. <laughs> but yeah, so they like go through a whole thing. Uh, they're like about to leave Naboo, and this is like one of the most interesting things in the movie, I think, in the fan art, because they added in a deleted scene. <laughs> okay. Where it's like, you can clearly tell, it's like very clearly like low quality footage from like, you know, behind the scenes thing that they filmed on set and are like digitally remastered or whatever. But yeah, there's just a scene where it's like, oh yeah, we're gonna like head out like the village, right? Oh, thanks for a fall, Lewis. Yeah. But yeah, they have a whole nice. scene where they're about to like head out of the village. It's like... They look over, and they're being followed by one of Darth Maul's pods, like, one of his little, like, you know, drones that are, like, flying around, and they have a quick action beat where Obi-Wan's like, oh, quick, yo, go away, and they, like, run off from it as it chases them down, and he, like, quickly just takes out his lightsaber and just, you know, like, just, just slashes it in half, and he's like, oh, we gotta get out of here now, that's bad, the, the Sith are on to us. And it's like, okay, yeah, now there's, like, immediately stakes so that when Darth Maul shows up out of nowhere, it doesn't feel as, like, surprising and weird. There was, like, foreshadowing, basically. Yeah, yeah, there's, like, foreshadowing that leads into him, like, showing up to fight them. But yeah, they have a quick little fight, they leave, uh, do the whole set thing, come back, and it's like, okay, yeah. Now that we have, like, just like, blasted through the story and speed ran this crap. Uh, they, like, go to the whole palace and they're like, okay, yeah, let's just, like, get through this. We have to do the whole, like, battle on multiple fronts. Uh, I should mention, another thing to note, this entire time, they've been cutting away from Jar Jar right before he starts slapstick as much as possible. <laughs> uh, by the way, I was lurking around kid across your stream. Uh, maybe I can help you with your Twitch custom graphics even more. I mean, hey, yo, if you're offering, yeah, that'd be cool, I guess. Like, <laughs> I'm not expecting to really, like, pay for anything or, you know, give you any, like, information or anything, obviously. But, yeah, yo, if you all, like, send me a DM and talk, yeah, I'd be fine with that. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. So they, like, go through the whole thing, and it's like, alright, yeah, there's there's clearly just points where it's, like, Jar Jar's working on, like, the freaking pod racer, and it's like, they keep the scene where he, like, just shocks his tongue and numbs his face like an idiot, and they just cut away before he, like, drops the wrench into the engine and has to, like, get his hand stuck getting it, because it's just way too much. Uh -huh. so it's like he drops the wrench and they like cut right before it falls into the engine so they don't have to justify him getting it back out <laughs> and it's like you know what I appreciate the dedication and for what's worth weirdly enough just shocker of all shockers when Jar Jar Slapstick is actually used in moderation, it works way, way better as comic relief. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, they're actually, like, cutting out scenes in the battle where it's like, there's the bit where he, like, you know, gets his leg stuck on a droid and he's, like, just flailing around, like, yo, know, just tripping over himself and stuff and managing to accidentally shoot our droids and stuff. And it's like, they just cut that out. But they kept him, like, just stumbling around on top of the tank and taking one of those out. And, you know, fair enough. That's the bigger accomplishment anyways. Uh, what's your Discord? I'll DM you my portfolio. Uh, Anna, do you want to give him the link, Lucky? Mm, I uh, sent you something on- I sent you something on Discord. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Should we send the link into the chat or not? I'd rather not. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, but yeah, if you all like send me a DM or like, you know, Twitch or whatever, I'll check those out, I guess. I, I think that'd be like a bit safer, just in case. 
Uh, but yeah, so it's like they get to the city, they like do the whole thing, they do the whole foul bow. Uh, freaking one of the things I really appreciate is that they cut out a bunch of the random dialogue from Anakin where it just makes him look really incompetent. Where it's like he's constantly like, oh, oops, uh, didn't mean to do that. Or like, you know, saying other things like, oh, uh-oh, this is bad or whatever. It's like, no, they just cut out that crap. So it's like, instead they go into the battle and like, you know, the freaking uh, throne building or whatever, the palace, I guess. And it's like, they tell Anakin to weigh in the spaceship, and like, the second he gets the chance, A, sees that his allies are in danger, he like, turns the ship, blasts the droidicas, and flies off to help the away team. <laughs> <laughs> just, there's no law about the dumb autopilot kicking in or anything, he just goes for it, and just does it, and just like, just wrecks shop. <laughs> It's like, you know what, that's good, yeah. Uh, but yeah. So they, like, do the thing, they have the big battle with Darth Maul. Uh, because, like, they've just cut so much crap, this just is just, it works so much better, holy crap. <laughs> but yeah, they have that. They line up the final battles so they're, like, more in sync. So it's like, oh, they're cutting back and forth at, like, the lowest point and stuff. And more like, obviously, I feel like. I'm pretty sure it was, like, a change they made. And, yeah, they, like, just go back and have the big, like, victory and stuff. And it's, like, the one change that they didn't make that I really wish they would is that, like, something I didn't even realize how much it bugged me until just, like, seeing this movie with actually good pacing for a moment... Is that they, like, save the day and they immediately go to this big, happy, like, crazy festival. And it's like, immediately it just cuts to, like, them discussing Anakin's, like... No way, it's like they save the day and then they cut to them discussing Anakin's fate, yeah. They have Anakin's whole thing first where they're like, oh yeah, yo, we'll train him, but yo, ah, uh, showers of doubt, we see, uh, you know, dangerous he may become or whatever, and they cut to the, like, happiest, most upbeat, like, random, like, celebration festival ever, where, like, everything's great and they're, they're big, dumb, blue orb of, like, truce or whatever for no reason. And then cuts away from that to, like, Qui-Gon's funeral where it's all sad again. <laughs> it's like, okay, yo, come on. You could have, like, flipped the order of this a little bit to make it work better. But you know what? Fair enough. <laughs> like, I would have changed it, but eh, whatever. I don't think it's, like, that big of a deal. It's just really jarring feeling. Uh, but yeah, good fan at it. I would definitely recommend over the original. They definitely improved the film. Not enough to make it good, but enough to make it decent, I think. <laughs> or coasters should really take a bit of time, build it up before the plummet. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so anything else we have to say out there, I guess? Or any questions or anything like that? Not... Really? Nah. I, I mean, it, hey, it's nice if it's a better movie overall. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it works. I, I think it worked pretty well. <laughs>